Hey guys, Ethan here from DublinMarketing.com and in today's video I want to talk to you about the four essential tools you'll need to build your online business. Hey guys, welcome back and a little bit of change of scenery here. Um, so I'm still going to be talking about the four essential tools you're going to need to build your online business. Um, but I want to kind of show you a quick little uh, resource here that I've created already for you in case you know you can't capture all the information right now. Um, so if you literally go to my website netplaymarketing.com and you head to the start here section, you can literally just uh, scroll down to the bottom here and there is a tool section and I actually go through all the main tools that I personally use. Um, and there's actually links here for you as well, so you can go ahead and link right to the um, to the links of to the websites that I'm going to show you here today. Uh, I'm not an affiliate, honestly, for any of these products here. Um, I honestly just use them in my own personal business, which is why I'm recommending them to you. Um, and so, if you want to, like, here's a quick little resource for you. I just literally go to netplanmarketing.com, start here section, and you can go down to to tools. So, what well, the first thing you're going to need when you're starting your business is obviously you're going to need a website. So the tool that I use to get my domain name, aka your website, um, is GoDaddy. Um, you don't have to use GoDaddy. There's other places too. I believe there's places like Namecheap.com um, or any pretty much hosting service will generally do this for you as well. Uh, I'm going to talk about hosting in a second, but uh, they offer a lot of these things as well, and I'll show you that in a second. But uh, essentially, what GoDaddy allows you to do is you can literally go over here and and try a couple of different names because sometimes the name that you're maybe thinking for your business um, doesn't is already being used or already exists. Um, and so GoDaddy can actually show you whether it is um, uh, available or not. So let's just try something like mynewbusiness.com. And so if you click enter, it'll tell you whether it's taken or not. So as you can see, mynewbusiness.com is obviously taken, but mynewbusiness.ca isn't, right? So there may give you other options depending on your country and things like that as well. Um, or you can just try doing another website altogether. If you're creating your own brand or you're going to be branding yourself, like your name, let's say like johndoe.com, um, then what chances are it's probably not going to be taken unless you have a very common name like John Doe. Um, and so, um, but the pricing you generally was going to cost you about $10 uh, per year. So and something you need to know uh, right now is that it's going that anytime that you get a domain name, you're going to have to renew your, your domain every single year. Again, it's only going to cost you about $10 a year. But if you do end up, uh, let's say, promoting your website and growing an audience and stuff like that, you've got to make sure that you're going to be renewing this. GoDaddy will do it automatically for you. You don't have to worry about that. However, just something to keep in the, uh, in the back of your mind that uh, you want to set that auto renewal if you do plan to keep that website going because it has happened in the past where people forget to renew their website name and so they build this audience and people end up snatching that website name from them and then um, people lose out uh, basically on being able to keep their website name. So just make sure you keep that renewal on. So once you actually have your domain name set up, right, and you find the one that you want to use, then you're going to need to actually find a hosting service. So what is a hosting service? A hosting service essentially means um, that uh, it's going to be a place where you're going to be saving your website. Okay, so your website needs to be saved on a in, on a server or basically a digital hard drive on the internet. And so what a hosting service does is it allows you, it gives you space so you be, so you can save your website on their servers, right, or on their hard drives. And so Bluehost is one of those. You can use other places like uh, HostGator, for example, um, or even GoDaddy does the exact same thing. They also provide hosting. I personally just like using Bluehost. They're, um, they're super reliable. Their tech support is really, really great. Anytime I've messed things up, um, they've been able to help me out or fix it for me, which has been nice <laughs> because most of the mistakes that are, that are going to happen are going to be ones that you create yourself, but they're really good at figuring out what's, what the problem is and uh, helping you uh, get back in running mode as quickly as possible. Um, and one of the great things about Bluehost as well is that they do provide you this package here, which I just, which just happened to pop on, is they actually provide you a free domain. Um, sorry, a free domain service. So that basically means that you don't have to go to GoDaddy and buy your website there. You can actually just go ahead and um, start your website straight through Bluehost and they will provide you a domain name um, through them as well. Um, another note that I want to make sure that you let, that I let you know is if you are planning to create your website and you are planning to set up a blog, the easiest way that I've been able to find to use is to make sure that you're installing WordPress. WordPress is essentially a program that you use to create your website or to create or at least install a theme on your website. So that way you can uh, you can either use it as a blog theme or you can use it as a different website um, template. 
so that way you can set all that stuff up. So just make sure you use WordPress because I find it to be the easiest thing for anyone who's first getting started to go ahead and do it. And WordPress is basically how I have my website hosted here. So as you can see, like if you go to my homepage, I have it set up as a blog. So anytime I create content, it just pops up here for people and it's really easy to get going. Um, I actually have some videos that show you exactly how to do this. Um, if you just go on my website and you just look up how to set up a blog and go to my YouTube channel um, and type that in, you'll be able to find the videos for it. Um, but I, I take you through it and it's super easy to use and it's all because WordPress makes it easy. So just make sure that you install WordPress. That's what you're looking for. Um, so let's say once you've actually created your website, you have WordPress installed and you have your domain name. Now it's time to start uh, creating some content, right? So once you've started creating some content and you're going to start wanting to, to share stuff, uh, you're going to probably want to start collecting people's emails so you can start emailing some of your content to them, right? So the service that I use to do that is Aweber. Okay, so Aweber is basically what we call an autoresponder. So an autoresponder is essentially a, a program that stores all the emails that you're collecting from your, from your lead generation. So whether you're doing solo ads, whether you're doing um, pay-per-click, whether you're doing Facebook ads, whatever it is, you're going to be collecting people's emails, right? And so when you collect people's emails, you need to get them stored somewhere. And so what Aweber does is they basically collect those emails for you and they can sort them out any way you want to, whether you want to sort them out by category, by um, if you want to sort them out by where you found them. So for example, if you have like, just you did a Facebook ad and so you want to get all the people who opted in from your Facebook ad into one list, they'll do that for you. Um, and then you can have a separate list for people that you got from YouTube ads, etc., etc. So it may make it super, super easy for you to be able to set all this up. Um, and again, their tech support is really is really good as well. But I've been able to kind of uh, set this all up and figure it all out relatively quickly. Um, and so this is why I recommend it to most people. It's uh, their service again is really reliable, really quick, and it actually works and syncs very well with a lot of other programs, uh, which is also very very handy because if you're going to be wanting to use multiple programs to to sort things out and get this set up, uh, it makes it easier if you are using a a brand that's well known like Aweber. So that's why I kind of use them as well. So speaking of which, something that works really well with Aweber is lead pages. So um, if chances are, if you opted into my website, then one of the things that you did is you probably used a capture page. So a capture page essentially is things like um, if you were to go to my website, for example, and you were to click on, say, this ad here, like join my Facebook mastermind group, and you click on it, then what's going to happen is you're going to get a, a pop-up that is like this. That's, this is actually something I created on lead pages. Right? And much like this, there's other opt-in pages that, that I've created that maybe you have found yourself, which is basically where you how you collect people's emails, right? You set this up so people will collect your will enter their email, sorry, and then they'll be entered into your email list. So this is actually created through this program here, which is lead pages. Um, it takes honestly just a few minutes to actually create a lead box like the one I just showed you, or to create a capture page. And so it's very, very user-friendly and again, very, very easy to use. And that's the reason why I use lead pages. There are other ones out there that you can use, like uh, Optimized Press, for example, is a very popular one. And there's a there's a lot of other ones that have popped up, um, you know, since I've started, you know, online. But I I just like using lead pages because again, it's super easy to use. It syncs very well with other programs. For example, like Aweber, you will have to kind of link these two programs together when you're using things. And so um, because it works so well and seamlessly together, I just like to keep things that work. So I like using lead pages, and they're super easy to use. So if you are curious in terms of how these programs actually work, um, in terms of how they run, I've created a whole video series that shows you basically every single one of these things that I just showed you here. And it's in my uh, the first set of quick start training videos that I actually send you when you opt into my website. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my email list. You can either do it through um, that link that I just showed you here on my website, or if you just go to the side banner here, uh, what, the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a whole series of videos that actually will show you how each one of these programs works. And uh, so that way you have at least a good idea of how, how it works into your business. And so that way you can start implementing it into your business. All right, guys. So I hope you got value from this video. So these are the four tools you're going to need to really build your business. Again, GoDaddy for your domain service, um, Bluehost for your hosting service, um, Aweber for your um, autoresponder and then lead pages to start capturing people's emails. So um, if you have any questions on it, make sure, yeah, feel free to leave a comment for me below. You can reach out to me at any time. And I look forward to talking to you guys in the next video. So until next time, this is Get Out There. You can get more online marketing and training tips at netplaymarketing.com. While you're there, make sure to request access to the Netplay Marketing Facebook Mastermind Group, where you will be able to connect and network with other like-minded entrepreneurs. Find out what's working online right now and get any of your questions answered on how to best grow your business.